Hey guys, what's going on? I uh, found this at Target uh, a couple days ago. It was only 15 bucks. Picked it up because it's guaranteed uh, one autograph for Mem card. Uh, even though it's racing, I'm kind of, you know, a little bit familiar with racing. And I'm uh, sorry that my voice is a little bit messed up because I was kind of sick and just getting a little bit better. Uh, luckily, it wasn't too bad. I kind of caught it off. Um, cut it off <laughs> before it was... Uh, um, getting too bad. I kind of took some medicine and stuff, uh, and rested and some vitamins, um, uh, before it got really bad. But, uh, anyways, like I said, found it at ta Target for 15 bucks. Um, you can get prisms. I've done this before, so I'll probably try and link, uh, some old videos if you're interested in seeing, uh, the other boxes. And they might have had some other things at Target, but like I said, I picked it up because you're guaranteed. I always try and for look for boxes that uh, you're guaranteed stuff uh, otherwise four cards per pack and six packs per box so uh, like it says 24 cards and uh, $15 instead of the normal $20 so hopefully I I don't think I'll get an autograph because I was trying to feel around and it felt more like um, I don't know like the weight of the box, sometimes you can tell if it's going to be a mem card or an autograph. And of course, like I always say, Prism's kind of like uh, the Topps Chrome of, of Panini. It's like one of the best uh, or the top of the line stuff uh, for retail. Uh, first one's Kurt Busch, Matt Kenseth, Winter Circle. And if you're ever interested, I usually put these up on uh, Instagram takes a couple of days or even weeks, but I eventually try and put everything up there. Uh, Martin Truex. And Dale Earnhardt. And uh, this one I think was a prism, as you can tell. And the other ones were just uh, regular cards. Uh, pack 2. Tony Stewart. Kevin Harvick and a die cut Kyle Busch prism refractor uh, raising the flag uh, I'll have to check on the other one I don't think any of these so far are numbered and Alex Bowman and uh, this one was right yeah so the other prism was not uh, numbered and before I forget this is I believe 2016 NASCAR so it's about two years old uh, I think 2018 should be coming out pretty soon being at the NASCAR season starting I think pretty soon if it didn't already start I remember the Daytona 500 used to be in January if I'm not mistaken or is that too late no it's definitely not January because I think it's still too cold and snowy uh, David Pearson Kyle Larson Dale Earnhardt Jr. Prism Refractor. Bill Elliott. I remember going to the Daytona 500. I thought it was in January. But I could be wrong. That wouldn't make sense. I think it'd still be really cold down south. Uh, Joey Logano. Denny Hamlin and a Tony Stewart Prism Refractor. Still nothing numbered. And Carl Edwards is the last one. Uh, two packs left. They're pretty thin, uh, unless it's a really thin uh, relic. It should be an autograph, actually. Unless I jinx myself. Um, or Panini points. Keselowski. Uh, another. Die cut. Carl Edwards. And Tony Stewart. Die cut. Machinery. Not numbered. And Danica Patrick. 
the last one, which should be an autograph or points. It's definitely not gonna be a relic card. Hopefully it's a lot of points if it is. <laughs> John Wise. Yep, wait, uh, alright. Um, Arik Almirola. Another Tony Stewart. And the autograph is Chris Boucher, if I'm saying that right. It looks pretty sweet. And that is a three of ninety nine. So was he the NASCAR Xfinity Series and beyond? So he won the championship. That's a pretty good card. Then I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you and try and be a, you know. A phony, I'm not too familiar, I'll have to look it up, but according to this, he, uh, it's a nice looking card. It's a 3 of 99, and it says that he won, uh, the championship last year. But it's a sweet looking card, that's why I always try and, uh, like I said, especially for 15 bucks, anything that guarantees you an autograph or a relic is definitely worth getting. Even, uh, you know, if it's um, a risk and you might not get it, but it's still uh, worth the risk to me, especially when it's uh, marked down $15. Uh, so that's the guaranteed hit, which is pretty sweet. Um, and I'll go over the cards real quick. Again, all the prisms and die cuts. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I'll have to look it up. It seems like he, uh, it's a good card because he might have won the championship. Uh, like I said, I'm not 100%, but anyways, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I guess that's why it's worth buying it. You learn more about him anyways, kind of with any sport, but that looks pretty awesome. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.